I go wherever he asks me to show up. <laughs> Folks, uh, I, uh, as I used to say in the Senate, if excuse the point of personal privilege, I, uh, I think that I've worked with Chad uh, since he's headed this organization, actually a little before that. And I think he has done a truly, truly, truly remarkable job. <laughs> and what a wonderful day and a wonderful way to start off the month of pride. Well, the point. Hillary Clinton has totally forgotten the first rule of public service. The job of an elected official is to serve the citizens of the United States. That's what the job is. That uh, I see every day on campus as a professor at Penn and all those folks out there who are, uh, you know, you've done as much for straight folks as you have gay folks and le lesbian folks. No, no. You know, when uh, Chad and others give me more credit for coming out in, on television in 2012 on Meet the Press, um, I had told the President that uh, I wasn't going to uh, push things because that wasn't right where we were yet, but if asked, I was not going to remain quiet. And uh, As the evidence has become public over the last several months, i become increasingly shocked by the vast scope of Hillary Clinton's criminality. It's criminality. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Our country has gone so far behind. Everybody knows it. Hillary Clinton said she turned over all of her work-related emails. She... And he said something simple and profound. He said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. Simple. They love each other. Not a joke. But the truth of the matter is, so many of you, particularly those of you a little older, had given so much, taken such risks, done so much to change the attitude of Americans. People are afraid of what they don't know. And as you came out, and more and more came out, they realized, that's my cousin. That's my brother's friend. That's my neighbor. That's the poke I play ball with. That's the person in my study group. They're just like me. They're just like me. And all the stereotypical notions begin to erode and fade. Because the American people, I get credit for saying something that took any courage. First of all, my father came down from heaven if I didn't do what I did. But the second... Foundation donors included corporations and individuals with significant matters before the State Department. Not good. And then, either Hillary Clinton herself or one of her closest aides took action favorable to these donors. Her actions corrupted and disgraced one of the most important departments of government, indeed, one of only four established by the United States Constitution itself. The amounts involved, the favors done, and the significant number of times it was done require an expedited investigation by a special prosecutor immediately, immediately, immediately. Years ago, 10 years ago, in Columbus or Washington or New York, there was a business meeting, and a gay waiter came up and talked a little bit with a little bit of a lisp or something. It came out and it came off as being effeminate. And someone at the table made fun and said, well, let me tell you what I'd like, and made fun of him. No one would have said anything. This is what I mean, how you, how you freed so many non-homophobic straight guys and women. Today, if that happened at the table, you know what happened? That SOB never get invited back.